the United Nations mission in Mali has officially ended a 10-year deployment in the country, its spokesperson said, in a pullout ordered by Mali's military government. The mission, known as the UN Multidimensional Integrated Stabilization Mission in Mali, MINISMA, lowered the UN flag in its headquarters in the capital Bamako, its spokesperson Fatou Matakaba told the AFP news agency in December 2023. The symbolic ceremony marks the official end of the mission, she said, even though some of the elements of it are still there. The UN peacekeeping mission in Mali, MINISMA, was said to complete its withdrawal from the country on Sunday, the United Nations said in a statement. A liquidation phase, which is to place after January 1, involves activities such as handing over any remaining equipment to the authorities. In June, Mali's military government, which seized power in 2020, demanded the departure of the mission, deployed since 2013, despite being in the grip of attacks by armed groups in the Sahel region. Before we dive right in, please subscribe to the channel if you are new and turn on notifications to remain updated with the latest educative and entertaining news. The peacekeeping mission in Mali was launched in 2013 following a violent insurrection by separatist rebels attempting to take control of the north of the country and a subsequent military-led coup. The mission had maintained about 15,000 soldiers and police in Mali for the past decade. About 180 members have been killed in hostile acts. The UN troops were initially welcomed by Malians who hoped that the foreign soldiers would be able to help the Malian military drive back the rebels who had captured large swaths of land in the north. The UN's mandate in Mali expired on June 30, 2023. The UN Secretary General, Antonio Guterres, had recommended extending their stay in Mali for another year. However, Mali's foreign minister, Abdoulaye Diop, rejected this, saying the UN force had failed to respond effectively to security challenges. UN commanders complained that the Malian government has often interfered with their operations. Mr. Diop also accused the UN mission of making serious allegations which are detrimental to peace, reconciliation, and natural cohesion in Mali. In May 2023, the UN released a report alleging that during an anti-jihadist operation in central Mali in March 2022, Malian army troops and foreign mercenaries killed 500 civilians. Despite the presence of UN peacekeepers and French troops, who led counter-terror operations, the number of terror attacks in Mali steadily increased, as did the number of Malians joining insurgent groups. Over the past decade, more than 300 UN peacekeepers have been killed. It has been described as the deadliest peacekeeping mission in the world. Russia and China have criticized the mission at the UN, and countries such as the UK and Sweden have refused to provide troops. Mohamedou Basaru Tangara, a security analyst and researcher with the Conflict Research Network West Africa, said although the peacekeepers were not successful in helping to recover lost territories, they were able to improve the capacity of Malian security forces to tackle the crisis. Minisma, the mission, was here not to fight but to be a kind of bridge between the national army and some of the rebels in the pursuit of peace, Tangara added. Ten years on, however, the peacekeepers are leaving unceremoniously with the instability far from resolved. Thousands of people have been killed, and hundreds of thousands have been displaced by the violence. Landlocked Mali has struggled to contain an Islamic extremist insurgency since 2012. Extremist rebels were forced from power in northern cities the following year with the help of a French-led military operation. But rebels regrouped in the desert and began launching attacks on the Malian army and its allies, which soon included the UN force. Since being told to leave, Minisma has left 13 positions in Mali and has yet to close sites in Gao and Timbuktu in the north. Last week, the UN mission handed over the Mopti camp in central Mali, one of the hotbeds of violence that has plagued Sahel for years. The Mopti camp most recently housed peacekeepers from Bangladesh and Togo, and in the past, hosted Egyptian, Pakistani, and Senegalese contingents. The pullout went smoothly, unlike recent withdrawals in Mali's volatile north which took place under fears of a military escalation between the army and rebel groups, Fatuma Kaba told AFP. There are growing concerns that UN peacekeeping operations are increasingly becoming unwelcome in parts of Africa, where a majority of the missions operate. In September, Congo requested the withdrawal of the UN mission trying to contain violence in the country's east. Last week, the UN's top peacekeeping official defended the organization's missions worldwide but noted limited funds to finance operations. In June, Mali's junta asked the UN mission to leave, claiming that its future outlook doesn't seem to respond to the security needs of the country. The French force left last year 2022 under pressure from the junta. Gay, the UN mission commander, expressed confidence in Mali's security forces to resolve the security crisis. It's been a very positive mission which, when all is said and done, has given us a great deal of satisfaction, 
even if we'd like to do more with the limited resources we have, he said. But many in Mali have said the peacekeeping force has brought no stability, especially in the north where rebels are fighting to expand the territories they control. After seizing power in August 2020 citing mounting insecurity, Mali's government ditched the alliance with former colonial power France, preferring rapprochement with Moscow and the private army Wagner Group. Another military takeover happened in May 2021. The presence of the mercenaries has drawn strong condemnation from Western countries, who argued that the presence of the Wagner threatens Mali's stability. Moscow and Bamako continue to insist that the Russian fighters are merely trainers helping local soldiers combat rebel groups. Security experts warn the area could now become the focus of a struggle in the north as rebel groups and the army seek to take areas that the UN has left, further destabilizing Mali, where Islamist militants linked to Al-Qaeda and Islamic State also roam. Violence in Mali has spiked since June when the military junta that took power in a 2021 coup ordered the UN's decade-old peacekeeping mission to leave. The UN said only a small team will stay behind to oversee the transportation of assets and disposal of UN-owned equipment. UN funds, agencies, and programs were in Mali well before the deployment of Minisma and will stay in Mali well after the withdrawal, Minisma chief El Ghassam Wayne said. The withdrawal of Minisma troops has ignited fears that fighting will intensify between Malian forces and armed groups for territorial control. Mali has since become the epicenter of a violent movement that has spread across West Africa and forced millions to flee. Mali has been run by military leaders following two coups in 2020 and 2021. The country has been struggling with a widespread jihadist insurgency that has made much of the north and east ungovernable. In recent years, Islamic State in the Greater Sahara has made major gains, occupying large swathes of territory. Many central regions have also recently been experiencing a surge in violence perpetrated by militants linked to Al-Qaeda and Islamic State groups. Fighting also broke out again in August between the separatists and government troops after eight years of calm, as both sides scrambled to fill the vacuum left by the withdrawal of the UN peacekeepers. Let us know what you think about this video in the comment section. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video. Until then stay safe.